Welcome to Warriors TV in association with Aquasil. Tonight we have the second leg of the playoff quarterfinal between the Warriors and the Blackburn Hawks. The Warriors are holding a three goal advantage going into this game and I'm sure it's going to be equally as difficult to separate the two sides after the 60 minutes. Indeed, we could even have overtime and penalty shots. These two sides met here at Hillheads just a month ago and the Hawks came back from a three goal disadvantage twice in that game. So let's not write the Hawks off just yet. Please do enjoy this though, sit back, relax and enjoy the game. That uh, penalty kill in the end, the Warriors were doing what they needed to do, get the, uh, the puck out, clear it. And it was also encouraging to see them chasing the puck as well, trying to make something from it, not yes. just sitting back. Yes, absolutely. As Harley winds one in, I think he hits uh, Callum Queen on the way through and the Warriors are still with Dean Holland. I've seen that fish before. It's Warriors 1, Hawks 0. Straight from the face off there, Stocksy, great finish by Dean Holland. Yeah, I think the, uh, the thing to note from that is Dean Holland knows exactly where to go, that high slot area. Any shots that's going onto that keeper are rebounding out. Uh, Dino's took it straight, uh, straight to where it needs to be, picked up that loose puck and it's straight to the bottom corner, no messing. Will retreat with Harry Harley getting the puck back to Dylan Hare. It just seemed to squib up under his stick right, as he was uh, tracking back. Harley will gather. He's on the puck now. Goes uh, rink wide with a lovely stretch pass. And then the layoff for Sean Kippen who fires and it just, I think it took a nick maybe off the, uh, the outside of the blocker there off the Blackburn goalie Rogers. And then the follow up there, it's Chalmers who scores. Get that dog off my lawn. It's Warriors 2, Hawks 0. I think the momentum's there already, Adam. The team's shown they've come out hard. Uh, the line changes have been quick, the skate is hard. The times we've cleared the puck, the face off that was taken our end. Three lads chased the puck straight out. There's no messing. Yeah, it all, all came about the initial shot from Sean Kippen, and then uh, obviously with the rebound coming through, it just fell perfectly for Chalmers, who came in like a steam train. Belusiak carries it in for the Hawks. Big rebound coming off uh, Josh Crane there into the corner. Hawks have got one in. Opportunity in the high slot, and well blocked. I think it was a combination of uh, Douglas and McDonald there blocking that one to Jamie Ord, who's behind the net looking to carry it back in. Gets a shot in. I don't think uh, Rogers saw it. And then another one from Harley, which was, uh, well, it seemed to cut straight through some bodies there, swerved away from goal in the end. Harley will look to maybe go again. He will, and once again, it's, uh, it's like an extra set missile coming through there. but couldn't keep it down low enough to get it on target and then Carl Ross was down on one knee as he got that sweeping shot away back with the Warriors on the far side and then Holland back to Harley and to the far side one timer strikes the bottom of the goal frame as Adam Finlinson is really really trying to wind up a shot to get in on goal as uh, like one of the Hawks players has lost his stick in fact they've, they've snapped three sticks in the last 10 minutes of the game last night so they've not had much luck with them uh, this weekend now the equipment manager will be pulling his uh, hair out. He runs, Callum Watson scores. Dr. Watson is in the house. Warriors 3, Hawks 0. I think that's what the Warriors needed right there. Someone to pick the puck up, just remain cool, put a nice goal in the bottom corner, nothing fantastic. Just show everyone this is what we're here for tonight. Yeah, Callum Watson drilling it into that bottom corner. And uh, now repeated the scoreline from last night. 3-0 tonight, it was 3-0 last night, that's now 6-0 on aggregate and the Warriors easing their way towards the playoff weekend. Trying to make something happen for his team, experienced member of the side of course, part of that team that won all before them a few years ago. Finlandson dropped his shoulder to Jamie Ord, tried to stab it home, it was a rising shot and it just cleared the bar in the end, but clever play by Finlandson who spotted his line mate there. He's consistent, isn't he, week in, week out. Yeah, and it's not just what you do on the puck as well. Yeah. It's the, the back check and the fore check and away from the puck. Um, it's not measured that by anybody. People don't tend to see that. That's true, yeah. Yeah, we do tend to emphasise on uh, on points and goals and assists. But uh, as you say, it's a stiff off the puck. Quite yeah. right, so. Sean Kippen's another one as well. He's got that good defensive side. He's going and scored again. Dylan Hare scores. She wants to sell my monkey. Warriors 4, Hawks nil. That was a, a classic goal for Whitby Bay there. Picks the puck up on the blue line, the puck came out with Dylan on the point. Again, no panic, he just picks his head up, has a look at his spot, and a nice wrist shot in the top right-hand corner. Well, it's uh, a period that's gone to, uh, well, couldn't have gone much better for the Warriors, really, could it? Yeah, like we, we thought before the game, 
they were going to come out, take advantage of that 3 0 lead going into this. Um, and I don't think anyone's uh, been criticised from me watching. Walks will counter with Aaron Davis. Two Warriors players in there to put him into boards, Douglas and Grigors. Yeah, that's the effort I was talking about before. Yeah. You can see every player going on that ice uh, is putting 100% in. Fierce back drive. Each other up. Fierce drive coming in from Dougie again. Come off the blocker, rebound, and then the Warriors are keeping possession inside the whole zone. They'll complete a line change here. Picking out Holland, who fires just wide. Grigors getting back just ahead of his man there. I think Voluziak, he was closing him down. Grigors out. Calm as anything, carrying it out, slipping the puck out wide to uh, Finlinton, drop pass to Holland, he scores! And the Warriors make it 5-0 on the night. Go for Arnold Slick from Turtle Crick. Yeah, Grigors was very calm at the back and the, the whole build-up play of that goal was just calmness. Um, textbook really uh, getting the puck move forward, the, the pass in front of the net, everyone expected a shot, and it was just a nice little pass back out to the slot, and an easy shot. But it's the build-up play, you've got to give credit to that. It was, yeah. Lovely finish, Dean Holland with the goals. It's a matter of the, the first minute, there's a goal in there. It's, it's going to affect them mentally. It is, yeah. Fraser wins it back to Harley. Oh, send it in, oh, and uh, almost ending Valachek. And they've scored again, the Warriors. Dr. Watson is in the house again. Yeah, the experienced guys here are, are showing these young lads how to go on. This is a rampant Warriors side now. And, uh, well... You almost fear for Blackburn at this stage, don't you? It could be a rout here. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to see the experienced guys getting these goals, though. It is, yeah. Watson at his second goal of the night. Dean Holland with two. You know, this is a, a team, of course, which beat the Warriors at their last visit here. It was a very close game, very entertaining game, in fact. And it was settled with a penalty shot with an overtime in the Hawks' favour. As uh, Jeremy Orr dangled there a couple of times before trying to poke that one home. but. Uh, just couldn't find the back of her net. And also, uh, she's one of the assistant coaches with the uh, GB Under-18 girls team, so... Um, yeah, thoroughly deserved. It is, yeah. Two really nice people, and uh, it's a pleasure to know them, really. As Finlinton comes oh. in with a, another good shot right on the doorstep this time, where we just maybe ran out of real estate there with, uh, with Rogers there, closing them down. Yeah, but in go. comes uh, Carl Rossi, waits, tried to deke it, and then the rebound, and the Warriors will put it into the back of the net. But goal number seven, get in the fast lane, Grandma, the bingo game, ready to roll. That's what the Warriors have done uh, well tonight, they've followed in. It's not just a case of we'll give up, two players followed that puck all the way up into the crease, and it was a loose puck in the crease that's uh, been converted to a goal. Yeah, all gonna, again, Carl Ross, who was uh, trying to go near side, he got a fantastic finish last night as he tried to lift the puck. Well, he did, in fact, lift the puck up over Rogers into the uh, roof of the net. I think he tried to do it this time, but the angle, angle was so narrow, but it was just uh, a fantastic rebound and it was put home. I'm pleased I'm not counting the shots on goal tonight. It will be interesting to see. Unfortunately, we'll not put them up at the break, but Kyle Ross really leading this line at the minute. Jamie Ord with a shot from the high slot, deflected away, but uh, so what Jamie Ord's game's picked up fantastically recently, and it's crept in. It's crept in on the near post. I don't see didn't see who got the final touch. Was it Valacek? Uh, yes, it looked like Valacek uh, was the third rebound in the row. Put the lotion in the basket. It's 8-0 uh, now. And Valacek then with his first goal back since injury. That's a good goal for him to get. He's been out for a few weeks. And uh, the smiling check there is uh, very happy with that one. He's smiling like a butcher's dog. Uh, hustle there was, uh, was the, the name of the play. Everybody got on that loose puck as it was getting uh, bounced back out. Netminder's just doing what he's can. he's He can't be everywhere. Yeah, that Carl Ross line, as we said there, a lot of energy. And uh, his two linemates, Jeremy Ord and uh, Mate Valacek, really linking up well with him. Ross sends one in, it cannons back off the uh, skates of the Hawks defenseman. Jeremy Ord will control in the corner, gets it back. Trying to set up Carl Ross here as a good pass, good idea from Douglas, but picked off by the Blackburn D, who to be fair, they've had a they've been run ragged here, but uh, or, uh, sorry, Carl Ross banks it in, and that is goal number nine. Then keep those kippers out of my kitchen. Carl Ross still deserves that goal. The amount of effort he's put into this yeah. game. Some of the play might not be on the puck. People won't realise he's taken other players from the Hawks out by what he does. 
Um, it's not measured, no one ever sees that. Um, and he does this week in, week out, and he thoroughly deserves that goal. Yeah, his line has been doing a lot of damage in this second period, and it, it seemed to me just prior to that goal, looked like uh, Ross Douglas was desperately trying to set up Carl just before. I didn't quite come off as the pass was picked off, but 8.23 remaining in the second period. Warriors 9, Blackburn Hawks 0, 12-0 on aggregate. As it comes across here, Chalmers, but Blackburn did well on that play, just easing the Warriors off the puck. And that's gone in by Chalmers, and that is possibly the goal of the night. Absolutely. Scratch my back with a hacksaw. Well, that was a backhand with uh, a lot of power in it, off the crossbar, dropped down behind the, uh, the goal line, and I would totally agree. Best goal we've seen tonight. It was, it was a lovely finish. Chalmers with his second finish of the night as well. We're into double figures. That's, and that's not easy getting that much power on a backhand. No. Uh, and keeping your head and obviously hitting the net as well. Right now, it does seem like the Carl Ross and Sean Kiffin lines are the two that are going out there. It's uh, yeah. maybe uh, the, the Dean Holland one has been rested somewhat, so maybe uh, we are starting to rest some players ahead of next weekend. The shot comes in and it's scored again! Shave my face with a rusty razor. He's just beaten Rogers there like a rented mule. And it's 11-1 on the night. Kyle Ross with a, a top corner, right hand side. Again, wrist shot, takes his head, has a look, puts it exactly where he wants it. Goal tender, no chance. That's going to be about the fourth or fifth player now who's uh, got a multi-goal game this evening. Yeah. So it's uh, everyone has uh, just been on fire. We'll play it out wide, off the boards to Watson. He just uh, takes it into his own, couldn't really do much with it. Kippen will gather. Yeah, what I was looking for a change, he was just he trying was, to yeah. dump it in. Chalmers. Kept in again by Chalmers, who fires and it, oh, that would have been it's a rebound. And they score again, it's Jordan Barnes this time. How much fried chicken can you eat? Barnes, well, another experienced player, just the right place at the right time. I mean, what a shot that was beforehand yeah, as well. He would have took the net off if Chalmers had converted Absolutely, there. Absolutely, yeah. We'd be looking to stitch the hole up. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, uh, the nets look like they've just come off the North Sea fishing trawler as it is, but uh, putting a few more holes in it wouldn't have done it much good. As you would like, Harley with the shot. Cannon back, I think it almost took the net off, or maybe Barnsley collided with it off, uh, off the pub. I think Barnsley was just trying to get out of the way. Yeah, I think so, yeah. It certainly rattled the goal frame, though, I noticed, as uh, Rigors goes in, big hits coming in. And you do wonder now, is it going to get a little bit more physical out there? As uh, Chalmers will go, try, attempt to go top shelf, but that's a good save there by Rogers with uh, just under a minute left in the period. Cross. Shot coming in from Adam Wood. Wood will maybe get a second go at it here. He will send it in on goal. Almost picked off by the Warriors and Steve Chalmers I think it was and it's gone in it's trapped in at the back post and the Warriors have indeed scored early on never teach a pig to sing yeah first shot on the uh, goal was saved obviously the netminder is going to get his head up with that thing we're, we're starting off okay we're not even a minute into this period and the first goal has been put past him Jordan Barnes was at the back post, I think, just uh, creeping. Well, no, was it Skippy, in fact? That Skippy it looked Skippy's like, leading yeah. the uh, celebrations of it. I thought maybe Barnsley got a, a touch at the back post. Warriors back with Harley then. And it's gone in from Harley, Harry Harley from the blue line. Let's go hunt loose on a Harley. 14 nothing now. I've lost count how many uh, precision goals we've seen just wrist shot it into the top yeah, corner. Straight yeah. from the face off draw again. Yeah, it's a great feeling putting a, a puck in the top of the net where that went and from the blue line with a wrist shot, it's something else. And it was from a quite far out as well, so it was quite a, a decent angle that he shot it from. Yeah, it had pace but it had accuracy. Uh, once he picked that puck up and got the spin on it, it was away. Holland controlling the puck well, gets it out wide, the lovely cushion pass. Off to Griggles, who's pinching up from the back, filling some once again, but just caught in possession. Hawks looking to get a breakaway yeah, here, in on goal, and he finishes it, and the Hawks will get a consolation goal, and their fans go wild. And to be fair, it's uh, you know they deserve something to take back with them, but unfortunately, that's the shutout gone for Josh Crane. I'm sure you're disappointed about that. We'll be disappointed uh, about that, and unfortunately, um, that high man was left by our defence. 
it was. Velusiak adds to his goal tally this season, and it's good to see the Hawks do have something to cheer about. It's been a, a very, very difficult uh, evening's work for them. That was the experience of Dino just putting the puck down the other end to get a line change. Comes in for Dylan Hare, who fires, comes back to rebound, tries to set it up. Warriors are going to get a shot on goal again, but once again, Hopkinson scrambling to get back up. And then a third effort comes in from Finlandson. Passes through. And then Warriors looking to counter Balacek. Fresh out the box on the left wing, cuts inside. Almost uh, crept in on the far side, but upended on his way through. And, uh, gathered by Dylan Hare in the high slot, drifted out wide slightly, takes a shot, bounces off the top of Hopkinson's head. And, uh, psychologically for them, just getting that zero off the scoreboard is going to be uh, good for them. Spriggles gets a shot away, comes off the blocker, into the plexi and back into play. Puck tangled up into a net in Lukovic trying to get it clear. It's back with the Warriors though. And Chalmers who turns but uh, runs into three black shirts and the Hawks will get to counter with Velusiak. who will delay the pass looking for an option and then fires one in on goal and scores. And what a finish that is by Petr Velusiak, who has uh, got a second goal back for the Hawks. Uh, I think that's a great response. Bearing in mind we've seen some goals like that from the Warriors. Yeah. Um, he's took it over the blue line. He's waiting to see who's going to join him. There wasn't anything on, so he's decided to take the shot, and it was a rifle straight to that top left corner. It really was, yeah, fantastic finish. But look, love it in the headlights there. Riddick, he, he tried to sort of cushion the shot, but it just left his stick and couldn't control it, and allowed the Whitley defence to recover. Hair strikes a base of a post. You'll have heard the clunk back home. It's what we're used to seeing from Blackburn. It is, yeah. Harley. Fires it in and it's in the back of the net. Tell you ma, tell you pa, going to take you on down to Arkansas. Yeah, that goal, it's a wrist shot from the blue line again, but it looks like the netminder was screened, uh, several players in front of him. The puck went low and it's just it's just dropped down under his legs through that five hole. That's uh, like that goal number 15 on the night for the Warriors. It's a lovely reverse pass by Kippen, picked off by Lukovic though, and he will look to carry it out the zone. Warriors player, it's a Sean Kippen in fact, he was upended. I'm uh, not, I don't know how that's not a, a tripping penalty called by Dave Emerson there. I think Dave Emerson was feeling sympathy for yeah. the Hawks there. Grigors, in any other game, in any other situation, that's a clear cut tripping penalty. Yeah, Skippy giving the, uh, the puppy dog eyes there at Emerson. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I suppose it's, uh, he's just, Taking a little bit lenient on the Hawks, isn't he, given the yeah, situation? Yeah, I agree with you. He's uh, level with a big hit coming in. Kiffin mixing things up in and around the crease. Him and Lukovic tangling. Shot from a distance, and it's scored. And the Warriors have got another one. And the goalie doesn't know whether to cry or wind his watch. That's your exhibition goal. Slap shot from the, uh, the hash marks there, straight in the top corner. Certainly is, he smoked him like a bad cigar on that one. 7.05 to go, 16-2 to the Warriors, 19-2 on aggregate. Leverall with an assist, good to see his name on the, the game sheet as well. Yeah, he's enjoying this. It'll be interesting to see what and the stats look at the end of the game. And that's another one from Chalmers. And he's beaten Hopkinson like a rented mule. And it's now 17-2. 22 on aggregate. Chalmers is enjoying this game. He really is. I mean, we could have a goal reel compilation just for him alone. Yeah, he's not over celebrating either. I think he appreciates what Blackburn's going through. He's been in the game long enough. Well, that's right. And uh, I think there is a, a bit of sportsmanship there. But, but the Warriors, as you say, not really gloating on the goal celebration. That's good to see. And it's uh, air releases a pass to Weber on the left wing, try to feed. Callum Watson through the middle. Under five minutes left now. John Kippin with a second attempt, maybe. What oh, is it? No, it's Griggles on the far side, isn't it? And the shot comes in from Watson. Dr. Watson's in the house and he's got his hat trick. Tic tac to a hockey there. Cook has moved round. Three, four passes. Quick succession. Netminder's just chasing that. And as soon as it lines up in front of the goal high slot, Cook's wristed straight in the bottom. 18-2 now on the night. 21 goals to two on aggregate. Uh, it looks like there's uh, four and a half minutes or so left in the period and I think the Warriors will want 20 out of this. As the 
Hawks were carried in on the left wing side. Try to feed Clancy, but found on the uh, attempted shot. It would be easy to pick Grigos out as a standout player tonight. However, just about all the Warriors have had exactly the same game. I think so. Jordan Barnes with a shot, and that is a highlight reel save there by Hodkinson. And, uh, well, talking of highlight reel goals, you're in for a treat tonight. You can spit shine your shoes, folks, because we're heading to Leeds. Elvis has left the building. A fantastic result then for the Warriors. 18-2 on the night. 21 goals to two on aggregate. And uh, what a fantastic performance this is for the Warriors heading to Leeds next weekend. Yeah, what we saw tonight was hockey with style.